10 Best Places to Visit in Namibia Welcome to this floor and thanks for watching. In today's video, we are taking you to the land of endless horizons, presenting to you the 10 best places to visit in Namibia. Namibia, officially the Republic of Namibia, is a country in Southern Africa. Its western border is the Atlantic Ocean. It shares land borders with Zambia and Angola, Botswana and South Africa. Although it does not border Zimbabwe, less than 200 meters of the Zambezi River separates the two countries. Namibia gained independence from South Africa on 21st March 1990 following the Namibian War for Independence. Its capital and largest city is Windhoek and it is a member state of the United Nations, the Southern African Development Community, the African Union and the Commonwealth of Nations. If you are new here, welcome. Be sure to subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss any of our videos. Namibia has a population of 2.6 million people spread over a land area of 825,615 square kilometers. The large arid Namib desert has resulted in Namibia being overall one of the least densely populated countries in the world, but also one of the most visited. Of the many places visitors always crave for in Namibia, here are the top 10 best places to visit in Namibia. Number 10. Epupa Falls Lying in the border between Angola and Namibia is one of the best places to visit in Namibia in the Kaukoland region, the Epupa Falls. The falls are originated by Kunene River and they cover almost a mile. Even though Epupa Falls are a bit hard to reach owing to limited conveyance options as it is accessible only by 4x4 vehicles, the place is still one of the most loved destinations in Namibia. Surrounding the falls are colored rock formations, palm trees and fig trees. Most travelers who visit Epupa Falls opt to stay overnight in one of the surrounding lodges. If you want to add some adrenaline to your day, you can also try some white water rafting along the river. Number 9. The Cape Cross Seal Colony Cape Cross is famous for two reasons, seals and Portuguese exploration. It was at this headland that celebrated Portuguese explorer Diogo Cao landed on the Namibian shoreline in 1486 who was tasked with finding an important trade route around Africa to India by his king. He established his country's claim to the territory by erecting a stone pillar topped with a cross called a padrao. At first sight, the beach appears blanketed in thick black sand. The rigging shapes of over 100,000 fur seals only become clearer as you come closer. This is the world's largest breeding colony of Cape fur seals, who flock here to mate and take advantage of the rich supply of fish in the currents. Wander along the boardwalk and take in the sights and sounds of this unique community as they frolic in the turquoise water. And warm themselves in the Namibian sunshine. Number 8. The Fish River and Fish River Canyon The place is a vast and empty land blissfully untroubled by humans. At Fish River Canyon Park, you'll be able to see one of the largest canyons in Africa and the world known in Afrikaans as the Vis Rivier Afgrond. The canyon is formed by the Fish River, one of the longest rivers in Africa with a whopping 160 kilometers long and nearly 30 kilometers wide. Fish River Canyon is one of the most breathtaking and dramatic Namibian destinations. There are several fantastic ways to view and experience Fish River Canyon Park in person. The landscape is surreal, and the best part is that the canyon has a few hiking trails for those who want to enjoy adventure, and the trail scan suits everyone from beginners to experienced hikers. You can also take a scenic flight over the top of the canyon or even go for a swim right in the Fish River. Number 7. Skeleton Coast it is probably pretty unusual that a place known as the Sands of Hell or the land God made in anger, as a native sand bushmen call it, will be one of the best places to visit in Namibia. But it's the heady mix of bleak desolation, harsh terrain and treacherous history that makes the menacing sounding skeleton coast the tourist attraction it is. This is the place where the wild desert meets the sea, the Atlantic's cold Benguela current colliding with the hot, dry air of the Namib desert to create a fog that rolls thickly over the sea. Coupled with howling winds and strong water currents, it's little wonder that hundreds of unlucky ships and their seafarers have made their demise along this coast over the centuries. Some of the shipwrecks are still clearly visible today, while the skeletons of whales and seals litter the shoreline. If that wasn't enough, desert lions and elephants still stalk these dunes too. Despite its eeriness and lack of hospitality, the skeleton coast remains one of the most pristine coastal wilderness in Africa and potentially the whole wild world. It might be bleak, but it's also stunningly beautiful. Number 6. Sasu's Fly Set deep in the territories of the Namib now clothed National Park, where the scorching African sun beats down and sidewinder snakes drift over the undulations of sand, the salt pan known as Sasu's Fly is a travel brochure of Namibia. It's a big call considering the whole country is remarkably beautiful, 
but there aren't many places on earth that boast a landscape quite as special as this one inside the Namib Nalkloft National Park. Few words can describe how it feels as you stand before a towering orange sand dune stretching across some 300 meters towards the bright blue sky. Walk amongst 900 year old fossilized acacia trees in the vast white clay pan of deep fly or touch the shifting sands of the world's oldest desert than Namib. The best time to see the dunes in all their glory is during sunrise when the light coming up from the east paints them in vivid black and orange contrast. Get your exercises in by climbing the most accessible dune 45 at sunrise. Then explore dead fly or big daddy in the late afternoon when the golden light again illuminates the area in all its magnificence. If you want to come among the stars, think about heading to Sesrim campsite which is right on the border of the park. This way you can stay late and watch the sunset whilst in Soso's life. Number 5. Namib With an ever-changing palette of deep rust, vermilion, crimson and gold, this is one of the most mesmerizing, beautiful yet treacherous Namibia attractions. This magnificent desert is considered one of the oldest in the world, being over 40 million years old and actually branches over to South Africa and Angola. Almost uninhabited and pristine, Namib Desert offers amazing sights like Dune 45, Sesram Canyon and the Bonfer Girls, which are arches that branch off the ocean and are a must visit for all travelers alike. While exploring Namib, make sure that you visit Solitaire, a small settlement with less than 100 people. This is one of the most popular places to visit in Namibia. Do not forget to step into the Moose McGregory Bakery for a piece of their world famous pie. Number 4. Itosha National Park the second largest of Namibia's game reserves after Namib Nalkluft, Etosha National Park surrounds the vast Etosha Salt Pan. Covering over 20,000 square kilometers of land, Etosha National Park is one of the greatest Namibia places to visit for viewing wildlife. Despite the semi-arid surroundings, the many waterholes scattered through the park promise some epic game viewing of lions, elephants, giraffes, antelope, springbok, zebra, wild beast. It is also home to some extra special inhabitants like the endangered black rhino and the elusive and very shy leopard. Unlike many African safari locations with their long grasses and scrubby bush features, Etosha also boasts an entirely distinctive feature, the Etosha Pan. This white salt pan gives the park its name, Etosha, which means great white space and can be seen from space. After good rains, the pan transforms into a lake, attracting a pink cloud of flamingos in their thousands just in time for breeding. Number 3. Spectacular Spitzkop Rocks In the hearts of the Namibia's most wild and beautiful landscapes, the Damara Land, a towering 1,987 meter high granite mountain, rises straight out of the desert. Being named the Matterhorn of Africa, due to its dramatic shape, Namibia's Spitzkopper is all that remains of a 700 million year old ancient volcano. While you can climb up to the top with some ropes and technical know-how, there's just as much adventure to be had in the surroundings. Head out on one of the many hikes and explore the unique landscapes, imposing boulders, ancient caves, rich vegetation and desert plains, or hang out at a rock archway snapping some epic photos. Or if you're after something a little more cultural, you can go in search of ancient bush paintings estimated to be up to 6,000 years old. Then watch the sunset light up the granite boulders with streaks of red and orange, before retiring to your campsite under the endlessly staring Namibian sky. Nalgloft Park. As the name suggests, the Namib Nalgloft National Park contains both the Namib Desert and the Nalgloft Mountain Range, covering 50,000 square kilometers. Wide open spaces framed by purpley blue mountains and impossible sunsets, which makes the Namib Nalgloft a place of singular beauty and peace. The only sound you hear is the gentle breeze, and time seems to stand still as though the clock stopped circa Palocin times, and indeed, there are preserved dinosaur footprints dotted around the country. If you want a place to stay while you enjoy the park, the Namib Nalkluft Park has some sensational ecologies like Volvedans, Desert Homestead and Moon Mountain Lodges that offer a magical desert experience. Horse riding, quad bike trails, scenic drives and overnight hikes and hot air ballooning all offer a unique take of the world's oldest and most beautiful desert. You should also check out the Quise Canyon through which the Quise River runs when it is not just a sandy river bed. Number 1. Winhoek this is considered to be the most visited place and is the capital as well as the largest city of Namibia. The parliament of Namibia and an old church known by the name Christus Christ are counted amongst the most prominent places to visit in Winhoek, Namibia. This place is also visited by those who want to get themselves some amazing souvenirs and go shopping 
as the city has amazing local markets situated at Marua Mall. Like most African sites, Winhoek is a mix of colonial history and African urban birds. Hence, you can learn about the country's rich history or simply enjoy great food and beer under the ever-present African sun. A great place to stay is Urban Camp centrally located with comfortable camping grounds. It's got big shady trees, Wi-Fi, internet, nice bathrooms and a sparkling pool. There you have it explorers, those were the top 10 places to visit in Namibia. If you did enjoy this video, do well to give it a thumbs up and do not forget to subscribe and share with your friends.